So, you want to go back in time and become the creator of the original taco, but you can't figure out how to make a time machine. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to do this same thing that we've done. I've made this video like five different times. Okay, I made it five times, but I'm making it again today, and this is the last time I'm doing this. And the reason why is because I always get people say, that say that it doesn't work and that they can't do it and it uh, doesn't it's not it's, the, the tutorial is bad and I'm here to tell you that it does work and I'm gonna show you every single thing you're ever gonna need to know so that I never have to make this video again <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started we use default cube today um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom in on this bad boy now we're gonna go to the material tab right here boom I'm doing everything so nobody can go yo it doesn't work I go over here into the material tab and where it has this little thing that says base color it's a little yellow circle and then hit boom right and then go right on over to image texture and then we're golden now it's gonna have this new and open thing right here now i'm gonna go ahead and hit open and i'm gonna select an image that i want to add to the cube and once i find the image that i want to use uh, i'm gonna go ahead and double click this or hit open image down at the bottom right and then boom now we're good to go now you won't see anything change and i think this might be where people keep telling me that it doesn't work because they don't know they have to go to material viewport shading or to render viewport shading up at the top to see anything because if you're seeing gray, it means you're on solid viewport shading, which means you're not seeing anything but the solid objects. So you have to go to material viewport shading to see it, um, which is which is this bad boy. Now, obviously, that looks really um, dumb. This is not how bricks look. So to fix this, let's go ahead and hit tab on our keyboard, the tab button um, to go ahead and look at this bad boy. Now, if we were to try and fix this, we'd need to go and split our window into two. So put your cursor top left or top right, and then just wait until your cursor turns into a little plus like that. And then just click and drag that into the center like that. Boom. Now, once that's done, we can go ahead and change the one on the left or the right, whichever one you want to the UV editor by clicking this little button right here Change that to the UV editor. And now you can see what we're looking at. So this little T looking cross thing, um, is basically all of the different faces that's here. So if I go to face select mode and I grab each individual face, you can see that these are the faces that make up the default cube. So if we go ahead and, uh, and double tap A to select all of them, and then it, and over here, uh, drag a box over top of this, hit S to scale. You can see it scales on our default cube over there, which is really cool. But to do this properly, we need to turn on uh, uh, the snap mode. So hit the little snap button right here, boom. And then we can go ahead and hit S. Oh, actually, we need to hit this little button right here and then make sure it says affect scale so that when we are using the scale tool, it actually affects the scaling as well. So now if you can't tell, it snaps to different increments, which is really nice. So we can go ahead and S just to scale this bad boy up. And you can see now it's perfectly on the edge there. And then, of course, we hit G to move this down and then just snap that right there. So now we have our bricks and they look proper, but they're rotated wrong. So to fix that, we do basically exactly what you think we're going to do and we're, go we're going to go ahead and double tap a to select everything over here and then we're just going to go ahead and rotate this so um let's go ahead and hit one on my numpad and you can see these are rotated wrongly let's go ahead and hit rx but you can see uh, sorry ry but you see it's not rotating proper because you know it's not we don't have the scale set to that so let's go ahead and open this up once again and make sure we have rotate checked so then we can go ahead and hit ry and rotate it like that and then hit G to move it back on up to where it goes. Now the bricks look good. Now this this particular texture that I have isn't seamless, so it's not going to line up. But if your texture was seamless, then obviously it would. Um, but that's how you make that's how you make that look nice. So now let's say you want to go ahead and well, this is basically it. That's it. That's all, that's it. That's how to add a texture to an object. Now let's go ahead and say you wanted this to only be on one singular side because I always get that question. Everyone's like, how do you only add a texture to one side? Well, I got you, man. I got you. Listen, all right, let's do it. Let's go ahead and over here where we have the material, we're gonna call this one brick because what else is a better name than brick? I'm gonna name my my firstborn son brick. That's gonna be his name. Um, so let's go ahead and hit this little plus to add another material underneath the brick and now we're gonna go ahead and hit new and we're gonna go ahead and call this one brick jr that's what we're gonna call it that's my um other son brick jr now um with this i'm gonna go ahead and hit tab to go in edit mode here and now what we need to do is let's say like i said let's say we only want this on one side so basically we're gonna go ahead and take brick jr and double tap a and we're gonna select everything right select everything and hit a sign because we don't want anything on it we just want it to be you know maybe we want everything to be maybe we want brick jr to be green let's make uh brick jr blue let's make a blue 
Brick Jr. is blue now, okay? So now he's blue, and this is our default cube, and it's blue. And let's say we only want the brick texture on one of these sides. Let's go ahead and, oop, let's go ahead and hit tab to go back in edit mode and grab one of the sides. Just grab one side with face select mode on. Just grab a single side and then go back to the brick texture we made and then assign. And there you go. So now you have the brick texture only on one side. It's glorious. Let's go, dude. Yes. Woo. Perfect. So now um, it's looking great. Now, one more step before I, before I let you go. Let's undo that. And let's say you have some modeling on this cube. So, cause I mean, the cube is only one face, you know, it's pretty easy to do. Let's say you have like, you know, I to inset and then E to extrude that inwards. And let's say this is what your cube looks like. Maybe it has like a little thing in there. Maybe it has like some geometry to it. And you only want this bit to have the, the brick on it. Well, it's the same idea. So just grab this face right here and then go up to the brick, hit assign. And then there you go, there you go. So now you have the brick that's inside the thing, which is really, really cool. So there you go. That is how you add a uh, texture to one side it's how you rotate it. It's how you, you know, it's how you, it's how you rotate it like this. You know, it's how, it's how you have it on all sides. It's how you add it. So there you go. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I appreciate you guys for all the love and all the videos and everything. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic week. But until then, bye-bye.